Okay, so we have this little hen here, and um, she has um, some egg yolk peritonitis situation going on here, so we're going to drain her belly, and um, this is the easiest way, I think, for doing it um, for me. So I put her on a towel, she's on her back, you know, and she's all like relaxed, she's been through this before, so, you know, I guess she's kind of used to it. Um, and we're going to use this um, butterfly needle attached to a 60 ml syringe. So this butterfly needle is like pretty important because um, for safety reasons for her. And I'm going to put it in on her right side. Yes, the oviduct is over here. We don't want to do it on this side, so it's easier much safer to do it over here. And I can feel it's full of fluid right here, right? Feels like a water balloon. Like a really um like a really full water balloon. So um you know you know her her vent is like down there. I'm doing it maybe like a couple inches up above and I, I cut the feathers away so I could see it better. So um and this is a 20 gauge needle, so, whoops, so we put it in. See, she didn't even move. And then we're just going to draw out the fluid. <sighs> it's kind of hard to pull on the plunger sometimes. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if you can see, but you can see the fluid's filling it pretty fast, and it's kind of icky, kind of, like eggy ascites kind of fluid. Um, yep, so that filled it pretty fast. Um, so I'm going to do this a couple of times, right? And I don't want to keep repoking her because that would hurt and it's not necessary and if you poke them too many times it creates adhesions and all kinds of bad things. So, um, you know, you just remove the needle like that and then you put the syringe back on when you want to pull out another load of crap and um so her fluid is not it looks kind of cloudy so I think it you know there's an infection going on so after I drain this um I'm going to put her on Clavamox probably and also implant her and um hopefully we can forestall her inevitable death from, you know, excessive egg laying, reproductive tract disease. Um, so here we got another syringe full out. So she probably has like 300 mLs of fluid in there, but anyway, there she is. She's just lying on her little back, and um, it's not that hard. And I don't know. You can see there's where I put the needle in. And, um, you know, this is a, the butterfly needle is so that if she moves, I don't stab her organs, right? Because that would be horrible. Because, you know, there's like a liver in there, there's the gizzards, all kinds of shit, her intestines. You don't want to stab that. We just want to stab where there's fluid. So, right, it's basically it. Good job, little sweet pea.